friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and this is the first time you're visiting, my name is Rosalie and welcome to Satina Country Cottage. Today I am so happy to share with you all another beautiful home. Today this home is owned by Miss Gail Reeder. She has a lovely Kentucky home and her home has actually been featured twice in a Primitive Place magazine, once in 2013 and again in 2018. And recently, her home was also featured in the December 2019 issue of Early American Life. So her home is just beautiful. I have pulled inspiration from her home via Pinterest for years now. So I was so happy to find um, her account on Instagram as well. And so I am just so blessed to have actually been able to get to know her a little bit better via telephone and just gather some information, get to know her and her style. She calls her style, or she describes her style as being primitive with a colonial flair. So she has a nice balance of not too formal and not too rustic. So she just has a lovely balance of prim decor, which I love myself and I'm trying to achieve in my home. So I hope that all of you will get some inspiration from her home. It's just lovely and she is a lovely person. So let's welcome Mrs. Gail Reeder and her beautiful Kentucky home to my channel. Good morning and welcome to my home. I was asked by Rosalie at Satina Country Cottage to take you on a tour of my home and I graciously accepted. You'll see that I enjoy collecting woven coverlets, game boards, stoneware crocs, I also have a love for dough balls and old boxes. Entry boxes, stackable trunks. As you can see, I truly have a passion for primitive decorating. I have collected antiques my entire adult life. So collect redware. Now we'll step into the kitchen. I drew sketches for my builder, and I think he did an excellent job bringing my vision into play. My cabinets are sautéed mushroom by PPG Porter Paints. I 
also like to collect red, um, yellowware, excuse me. It's my opinion that if you group your collections together rather than scattering them throughout the house, that make a stronger statement. Now we'll step into the laundry room. Also like to collect vintage clothing, antique quilts, and I'm also hooked on old brooms. Now we'll step into the hallway. It leads to the master bedroom. The walls throughout my home are uh, almond cream, also by PPG Porter Paints. The sampler here is by Bridget Swindle. She's an excellent stitcher. You can find her on Facebook. Now we'll step into the master bath. My home was featured in the December issue of Early American Life magazine. It was also featured in the fall 2018 issue of a Primitive Place magazine. Now we'll head back into the hallway. The door here goes, leads into um, my two car garage. Now we'll head back into the family room. There's Gracie. Hi, Gracie. See my recliner. That isn't period furniture, but you've got to have somewhere to relax, right? That's my cozy corner. Also like to collect pewter. This walnut cupboard is probably my prized possession. It is an early um, estate piece, Kentucky estate piece. floors are hard pine with an early American finish um, and a tongue oil sealer. Now we'll head into the hallway. Another collection of firkins. The Majority of my hooked rugs are made by Rhonda Thomas. She's an excellent artisan. You can find her on Facebook via My Glory Stars. Now we'll step into the guest room. The pie safe here is the first piece of primitive furniture that I bought back in 1978. primitive clothing. Now we'll head into my office slash sitting room. 
this was meant to be a bedroom, but I really didn't need the extra bedroom, so I opted for an office and sitting area. My desk was crafted by a local Amish. I drew a sketch and he did an excellent job. Now we'll head into the guest bathroom. Lastly, my builder, uh, I drew a sketch for my builder and he crafted the dry sink. We'll head back into the family room. So there you have it, my home sweet home. Thank you for visiting and may God bless you always.